You know, there's an old saying that uh, if you want to see the sunshine, you got to weather the storm. Uh, right now, we're uh, I'm going through a storm, and uh, I feel it won't be too long before I'll be looking at the sunshine and the rainbow. No rainbow looked to be coming to Oakland in 1977, when the A's lost 98 games, and the only reminder of the good times was poor old Vita Blue stuck in Oakland thanks to that contract extension he had been tricked into signing. I'm there all by myself. Now we're in a rebuilding state and go like, I was just on three world championship teams. To be an Oakland A's fan can be a lonely existence. Wow. The, the highs and lows of this business, the emotional roller coaster that you're on was quite telling and uh, I was very frustrated. Up until a uh, few years ago, it was a battle of the wits. Now today, it's a battle of uh, how much you got on the hip. By 79, it was a franchise that looked like it wanted to die. And that's when he got out. Perhaps the most controversial owner in all of sports, Charles O. Finley, has given up the reins. It was very emotional for him. Charlie called and was weeping, saying he wished he hadn't sold the team. I love baseball. I was in it for 20 years, and I do regret that I'm not in the game today because I do miss it. It's almost as if you're cool if you are a Charlie Finley hater. And that's what I want to see done away with and let people know the positive side in what we achieved. You know, Players are going to remember the fights, obviously, and the miserable way he used to talk to us and treat us like crap. And then on the other hand, you say, you know what? He's the guy that put together this, this crazy bunch. Maybe, maybe he wasn't that crazy. Maybe he knew what he was doing, you know, and maybe he deserves some credit for doing it. Everything they did, everything they won, will never be forgotten. It is a madhouse here. But just think about it. How many more championships could the A's have won? We were on the verge of something real special. The Oakland A's are the world champions of baseball. The sad part about it is that the nucleus of our ball team, who knows, we might have won that fourth, might have won the fifth in a row. Who knows? What a way to wind the game up with a flurry. That's what's so frustrating about it. We never were given an opportunity to see if we could accomplish that. If we just stayed together with the same exact team, I think we could have won two or three more world championships. But, uh, you know, Charlie wasn't going to let that happen. So they still talk about the maybes, but they'll also never stop talking about how great it was. Even the Big Red Machine doesn't dominate the National League the way the Oakland A's dominated the American League in the first half of the 1970s. I don't think we got the respect that we deserve. If our team was in New York or in Chicago or in L.A., we would have been the greatest team in the, in the decade. We were one of the great dynasties. We won five divisions, three World Series in a row. We were a special breed, and when you look back at it, you have a great appreciation for it, and you're thankful that you were part of it. I wish more people saw it.